The Security Council heard that peace efforts in Yemen are still stalled. Special Envoy Martin Griffiths is struggling to push forward an agreement to redeploy forces in the main port of Hodeida, a deal that was done more than six months ago. And now he faces new pressures. The Council has recently expressed concern at re-escalating violence across Yemen and the attacks on civilian infrastructure in southern Saudi Arabia. I must echo these concerns, including the recent uh, drone attacks on Abha airport. I have repeatedly warned that war can take peace off the table. And in the context of wider regional tensions, the risks to the, to the political process have never looked more stark. Russia's ambassador then made a thinly veiled attack on recent US statements. We underscore that artificially stoking tensions and hasty accusations are hardly conducive to an impartial international investigation. On the contrary, they politicize it and erode trust in such a process. The Security Council heard that for the people of Yemen, things are very grim and it's getting worse. Yemen is getting more violent, not less. The conflict is getting worse, not better. Fighting this year has displaced more than 250,000 people. The number of incidents killing or injuring children more than trebled between the last quarter of last year and the first quarter of this year. Add to that the risk of an environmental disaster. The UN is warning that there is a tanker in a very bad condition anchored in the port of Hodeida. It could rupture. It has on board 1.1 million barrels worth of oil, which could pollute the entire Red Sea coastline. James Bay's Al Jazeera at the United Nations.